Hello everyone, I am your narrator, Paranormal Poet, and a happy spooky Saturday to you. Join me as we delve into another true, terrifying, user-submitted story. Warning, the following content you are about to hear may involve certain phrases or words that could be triggering to some who have gone through them. Sound effects used to enhance immersion may also be of discomfort for some. This is your heads up. Viewer discretion is advised. Story 6. I'm going to get you. Hello, paranormal poet. I'm sure you are aware I am Sandra from your first video. After your last video, I recalled a really scary experience I had back in 2015 and figured I'd tell you that too. This encounter takes place at a military apartment where I stayed with my boyfriend and my daughter for a time. Living there was fine and dandy only for a little while, until a certain female spirit decided to make itself known. It all started with my daughter, who was three or four at the time. She came up to me one day while I was resting and told me that she kept seeing ghosts in her room, watching her and keeping her up at night. I reassured her that it was most likely a nightmare, but I'd soon realize it was far too real to be a bad dream. One night, we had just finished putting the kiddo to bed, and I decided to watch some YouTube videos on my laptop as for some odd reason, I couldn't get myself to sleep. I was a few videos in when I looked at the clock. It was 3.30 a.m., the witching hour. I got the instinctive need to check on her, so I slowly and quietly opened her door to see if she was okay. Thank God she was out cold. <laughs> it calmed me down enough to try and get some sleep. As I walked to my bedroom, out of nowhere was a bone-chilling female voice that said, I'm going to get you. Clear as day behind me. My heart began to race. Chills began surging through my body. I thought someone had actually snuck into my house. So I grabbed the nearest blunt object, a metal baseball bat. I stormed to the living room and on my way there, standing atop the landing of the stairs, was a full-bodied apparition of a woman staring at me. She had long black hair, and her body was draped in what looked like a nightgown, but something was off. It seemed like some of her torso had been missing. We stared at each other for a solid eight seconds before she turned her back and faded away into the wall. Sometime after, she would constantly torment my daughter, so we all decided to move it to where we live now a peaceful residential home. Whoever that woman was definitely didn't seem welcoming, and I was going to respect her wishes, especially since she took a liking to my kid. I didn't want her to go through that. Safe to say, I'm not ever going there ever again. If I could offer one bit of advice, pay close attention to your kid's nightmares, because ignoring it blinds us to a danger. A danger found on the other side. Be sure to subscribe for more narrated content. This has been your narrator, Paranormal Poet.